I think uh, growing up in South Africa, knowing how it was like to be in apartheid and being segregated and disenfranchised and not having anything and just being a non-entity had made me want to fight for all these causes. Knowing how it was like not to be able to vote and not being able to be counted uh, when we had our leaders who fought for us to have our freedom and had our dignity given back to us, but still after that seeing people who had uh, no roof over their heads, people who had not good education, people who had uh, not um, good care, health care, that made me want to fight for all these good causes because there's absolutely no wealth without health. When people are not healthy, people are not able to work, when people are not educated, people are not able to be, they can't be empowered, there's absolutely nothing they can do for themselves. So that's exactly what made me want to fight for all these causes, because when people are healthy, when people are educated, when the level field is being, when the playing field is being leveled, people are able to do things for themselves. I think it's important that not only personalities, everybody really has to fight these causes. It should be politicians, it should be policy makers, it should be all Ordinary people, it should, you know, health should not be for people who can afford. Health should be for absolutely everybody. So we need to make everybody aware of these things. And for the fact that children don't ask to be brought into this world, it becomes a cumbersome situation. So, you know, when we all fight for these causes, we'll all be better people and we can make a world a better place. So I think it's important that those who can afford and those who are skilled and those who are educated have to be at the forefront of this because those, voice, those people without voices cannot do any of these things. So I've chosen to be a voice of the voiceless. So we should not put the people who do not have the voices uh, in problems or leave them to cry alone. We should stand up for them. Uh, the public figures, when they stand up in arms as well, you know, I do believe that people, uh, public figures um, have got more power than uh, politicians. They can, you know, bring the public, they can talk to people, uh, but politicians have got great power as well because they make the policies and they do all these things. So it's imperative that we all work together you know, because uh, the politicians are brought into power by the people. So we need to say the people shall govern and work together as well. We don't need to be fighting. We need to, we don't need to compete. We need to work together to complete each other. Well, by 2030, really, I'd like to see diseases like malaria, TB and HIV being put in an archive so that our children could say our parents or people who came before us really worked hard. Because if we don't do this, we will be judged by the next generation. So it is important that we really work hard and start making sure that we walk the talk and practice what we preach. It is important that these diseases are, 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 are combated in our lifetime. So we need to work together. Research is very impo important as well. And donors have to come to the fore as well. Domestic finance is very important as well. And governments have to make sure that, you know, there is a political will that's very, very important. So by 2030, we need to at least half all these diseases. We can't be seeing the numbers going up. We need to make sure that the numbers are coming down. We need to see the universal coverage. We need to make sure that each and every child is cured from this curable and preventable disease.